Okay, we are back, and it's time now to pull a winner from our giveaway. So Tessa's going to keep her eye on the chat for us um, to make sure everything works out. So that it, we can go over here to the winners. And so I'm going to go ahead and draw all three winners. Bing! And basically, if you are in this list, uh, just let us know you're here. And we will, okay, Rob Hall is here, correct? Um, and there's a little bit of latency here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and switch to us, Nicholas. Um, Tess is going to keep her eye on the chat. We're looking for Rob Hall, Sean Maxwell, and J. Ray Sparks. All three of those guys, you have won. Um, and the interesting thing, so Rob Hall's from Tallahassee, Florida. Sean Maxwell's from Philadelphia, my hometown. The city of brotherly love where we signed the independence <laughs> where we told the british get but we still That's love all of said for my 24 hours right <laughs> rob hall's here okay good so rob hall won a pro license from stream monkey again um nicholas go ahead and just tell us um a little bit more about this pro license and so we could dig a little bit more into what these people are getting and why customers choose that license over a different license because i'll go ahead and show all the licenses here um and kind of, we can kind of talk about the differences. Yeah, so um, we kind of have three different tiered plans, basic, pro, and premium. Uh, pro is right in the middle there. It's pretty much um, the basic plan, and then which is the light, which is just live streaming, and then pro adds on all the on-demand features to it. So ah. you're going to get live streaming. Uh, you're going to get an embeddable player that you can put wherever you want. Um, uh, analytics uh, on both live and on-demand streaming um, and you get to see live stats as well as um, you know stats uh, from viewing from viewing in the past um, you can uh, utilize the on-demand streaming and the simulated live streaming it also comes included with a DVR um, and our basic nine to seven um, phone support, uh, like nine a.m. to seven p.m. Uh, every day of the week. Um, you can. Uh, we have file transcoding, so when you upload your file, we're going to do all the different bit rates. Like uh, if you upload like a 1080 file, we're going to do um, you know 1080, 720, 360, 240, all those options for you. So. Okay, you get it's, podcasting, uh, you know, all sorts of stuff. Yeah, no, that that is really great. Um, we just got a super chat from Howard Jones. Thank you. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with super chat, we've got two new videos on it. It's basically YouTube's payment system where if you enable super chat, it pins your chat to the top and you pay for that. It's kind of like this kind of crazy peer. Uh, I don't even know how to explain it. Uh, system. I, I think it's going to be a big deal, but anywho, um, it looks like we're still waiting for J. Ray Sparks, Tess? Yeah. Okay. Looks like it later. Thomas Hendricks says, can you monetize the on-demand? Uh, so Thomas, Thomas Hendricks is asking if you can monetize the on-demand. You should, maybe you should plug in just so everyone can hear you, I guess, because that I'm way you can, just, you can just read the chats at that point. Um, can you, what is your monetization plan, Nicholas? Uh, we have um, a third-party service that we can integrate into our player <laughs> and um, you can do paywall through that ah. or monetizing in the sense of if you come with a um, with an ad service like a Google ad service and you can plug that into the player I'm and it'll automatically volume so. gotcha that's kind of cool yeah. um, so I'm not seeing Jay spark so I'm gonna pull another winner yeah um, so I don't hear ahead. myself. Does that mean that the volume's not on? No, you shouldn't hear yourself. That's oh. okay. So I'm going to pick a new winner here. Because you do have to be live. This winner will win the full set of PTZ Optics. Um, it's taking a second. Of virtual sets. So we're definitely going to be giving out more of those. Is Joshua Steinmetz here? Joshua Steinmetz. And let's keep going here. Uh, questions for Nicholas. Yeah. If at all possible. And Tessa's got a lot of work. She's trying to find Joshua. Um, so, Nicholas, let me ask you a few questions. So, I saw you at NAB New York. That was fun. Mm -hmm. um, what were people asking you about? It seemed like a lot of people were talking about 360 live streaming. Yeah. Right? Uh, yeah. 
and that's kind of definitely like a new buzz thing. Um, mm -hmm. You know, everybody sees VR, they they hear about, you know, they see these 360 rigs all over NAB, uh, yeah. stuff like that. And um, Josh is here. So okay. 360 is another experience because obviously it's a fixed camera, and uh, and you can see in a in a 360 degrees. So uh, it's going to be really wide angle lens experience. Mm -hmm. So um, it's going to be something I think that will be in addition to a live stream. So most people that probably want to integrate 360 into their uh, production workflow would probably have like their camera cut live stream and then the option for you to kind of like also view uh, the 360 live stream. And I think, I mean, it okay. just has a totally different experience. It's so immersive. It's like, well, see, that's what I thought. It, and yeah. then you come out of it, you're like, oh, wait, oh, <laughs> where am I again? That's so, awesome. Okay. So, yeah. and I've also heard of like 360 li or 3D live streaming is a possibility as well. Um, and I think you're right. The way to handle it. There's a couple of things I'm thinking of on top of my brain. I've been wanting to talk about this forever, so thank you for bringing that up. Is yeah. multiple streaming. I, I, I don't think that streaming to YouTube and Facebook and Twitter and all these different places is the best idea. I think you really should focus on a single CDN, especially if you're a small business or a smaller show, in my own opinion. But the ability to live stream two different types of live streams mm -hmm. and allow the user to choose, I think is a genius idea. So if yeah. you have a regular show that you've got two or three cameras switching and it's your produced show, and then mm -hmm. you've got a 360 camera in the middle where people can just switch to and look around, if the audio was synced, that would be incredible. Like you could just decide to just choose, oh, I'm gonna go to the 360 for a little bit, and then I'm gonna go back to the <laughs> normal one, you know? <laughs> Um, I think yeah. that's the way to really handle it. And you know who really pioneered it, in my opinion, is Elon Musk from um, SpaceX. You know, everyone knows Elon Musk. Mm -hmm. um, Tesla, I think he owns. PayPal he used to own. Now he owns um, SpaceX. And SpaceX live streams the rocket launches when they l mm -hmm. launch the rockets into space. And it was the first time I ever watched a live stream where they said, hey, we've got two versions of this. We've got the regular produced live show where there's a host walking you through it. And then we've got the techie one where mm. there's engineers talking about how it's all actually poss possible. Yeah. And they know they've got the regular people who just want to watch a rocket launch. And then they've got all these techie people, engineer types that want to learn about the, the ins and outs. So they, instead of, and with live streaming, you can do that. You know what I mean? You can split yeah. your audiences and that makes a lot of sense, especially once you reach that level where you've got, hundreds of thousands of people watching, it makes just makes sense to do something like that. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, why not? You know, I mean, you have this, you have this palette of a, of, of a web page that you can provide all sorts of information and opportunities to people coming. And that's, I think, a reason why focusing on using a service that can deliver to your website is because that's ultimately where you want people to be usually yeah. is on your website or in the environment that you want to create. And then, like you said, you get that opportunity with these different experiences, design that experience and build it into your, into where your viewers are going to be and just give them as much as they can get, you know? Yeah, that's interesting you talk about that, kind of embedding the live stream into a website um, because um, then you can, if you're a church, for example, then you can have your own little donation button. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm guessing that when the customers come to you, that's kind of a major value add is the ability to kind of control everything. So yeah. when it's on YouTube, you know, when the video is over, all these pop-ups and advertisements come up. And one of the things I wanted to ask you about, and it was in the comment, and I'm not sure if we had time to talk about it, but, you know, this whole copyright infringement thing, I understand, you know, you guys aren't, gonna say hey you can bring your copyrighted material and just stream it with us but mm. i'm guessing you're not gonna just shut somebody down because there's background music from you know the bruce springsteen on pandora right like you have a little bit right. more leeway than you because youtube's not only shutting people down but deleting their youtube accounts and yeah. uh, giles from tnt um is a live streamer from the uk who's been on her show not been i've been on his show a couple times um but his he got his channel completely taken away and you know you build your wow. channel it's how yeah. you build your some people's income is based right. on their channel and they just right. say oh you're done and yeah. i'm guessing with you you know when you go to a premium cdn like stream monkey you know you guys have a little bit more protections in place and tell us about the experience from that standpoint 
Yeah, well, um, usually the licensing that you purchase to do live music um, that's copyrighted will allow you to embed that onto your website. Um, mm -hmm. And so uh, we're, we're, we're actually writing a blog right now. It's kind of funny you mentioned this too because um, we're, we're writing a blog now to kind of explain some of this because this is like often asked and wondered. Um, mm -hmm. And we want to, you know, set up our, our users to be, you know, um, you know, just doing it right. And so that's the thing is, is that license that you get to perform the music uh, will often allow you to um, have that on your website and like on your domain. And, um, and so when you reach out to, you know, YouTube Live and to Facebook and you do this, you're going to multiple platforms, that copyrighted music, they're picking it up they're and then they're, they're their systems are going, whoa, these guys might not have this, you know, copyright, especially if it's like pre-event, like pre-show or pre-event or pre-service music, you know, that you're playing for everybody locally and it just happens to be going out through the, the audio that you're sending to everybody else uh, on the stream. That's really what, you know, YouTube's going to pick up and go like, uh-uh, yeah. you, can't, you can't play that just because you have a CD. Here's the comment and here and... Yeah. Like we already talked about it, we already read it, but mm. I want to let all of our fans and everyone who's subscribing to our channel know that if you are commenting on our videos with some interesting stuff, we're going to be showing maybe even one, two, maybe we show a couple comments. Yeah, we could do that. On the live show. Certainly. Um, because in, on the Facebook side, which we're going to be bringing Nicholas in on the Facebook live show on Monday, we have complete integration to all comments through Facebook. So it's kind of interesting on the last show, we had it in like the bottom right hand corner and I didn't even have to ask the people, the person who I was interviewing, uh, Shelby something from Osprey video. He was just reading the little comments that were popping up on the screen and he was answering questions for the chat. So it was really interesting and nice. Tell me how, uh, so um, you mentioned Facebook Live, you mentioned YouTube Live. I thought they would have been your competitors, but it seems like you're actually just bringing it all under one hood as like a value-added service. Yeah, I, I, I think when you think about um, online services, like to me, what's the, what's the one thing that's going to um, make you obsolete? And it's going to be the fact that you don't keep up with what everybody wants to do and where, where everybody mm -hmm. is going to be and uh, what they want to be doing. Pe um, there are a lot of people that are using Facebook Live only, um, but there are also a lot of people that are just using that in conjunction with what they're doing to their website. So they're going to stream to their mm -hmm. website through a service like us because they can call us. Uh, like I was saying, support every day of the week, like... That means every day of the week somebody can call if they have an issue and, and, and get help or they can chat. Um, and so people are using these other platforms to promote, um, you know, why not? Why not allow them to and not and and why not allow them to to just, you know, do it the most easy way that they can, which would be if they're coming to my platform to use my service and I just make it easier for them to do everything. And they're, you know, why wouldn't a user want to stay and continue using my platform? Yeah, no, and, and that's, and see, you're not the CEO, you're the COO, but when you have forward thinking CEOs, I was I'm mentioning, you know, uh, Stuart Butter, Butterfield from Slack, who has a messaging app. It's one of the fastest growing businesses mm -hmm. in the world. I think it is the fastest growing business in the world, or it was in 2016. Um, they decided to add video conferencing. Why? Yeah the customers need it the customers want it bring it all together zoom video conferencing which is a very popular product just added facebook live and youtube live support so you have to be adding support for these gigantic social media networks or you will become irrelevant so i applaud you for that it seems like you guys are doing a great um job tell us do you have do you work with integrators and, and resellers and partners so we have a lot of partners are in our audience for sure a lot of people who yeah would consider you guys like a um, like kind of a partner where we could partner together, right? Like they would that like they would probably see you as like the 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 uh, resource for cameras and yes. easy optics. You know, like in in the same way, a lot of their customers, um, a lot of your customers are going to be asking, how can I do streaming? Or now I have this piece of gear, this encoder, this camera, the switcher. Now how can I do streaming? And so we want to be um, 
uh, partnered with with integrators and production companies and resellers uh, because we want to be a resource to you um, just as 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 you know you would a piece of gear like a camera or a capture card or an encoder so uh, that's why uh, we partner with integrators and uh, production companies and you know because also you're also out there doing all the work um, to get clients and you want to provide a full solution and so we want to just help you know help you with how that. have we not mentioned that turtle behind you throughout this i whole... know matt <laughs> davis oh, says yeah. i like the turtle everyone nice. loves the turtle by the way yeah nice his name is uh sheldon sheldon, sheldon. look at him go That's he actually name. wants to be on the live show look at that he does i mean I he's, he's just he's the star right is now is this his first live show yeah. <laughs> I, I think it is his first live show actually so oh. i think he's showing off a little bit interesting <laughs> so we can have him on facebook on monday too you think sure do you mind if i interview him uh, go for it <laughs> i just need to get you get like one of those underwater microphones so i can like you know hear what he's saying nice when he comes up to breathe and his nose just like reaches outside the water you can hear him whistle so he'll whistle for you but he's probably starting it. his own Aww. company called stream turtle <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. but no that's amazing i think we've pr test do we have any other questions or are we wrapping this baby up Thank you, Abinu. I think that we are good. How about, Tess, you want to give them a quick look at this, the studio one more sure, time? Sure, you can send them on over. Here we go. So this is, I'm just so happy with this. And Tess, congratulations on the design. It looks amazing. Thank you. Tell us about what we, we set up here. So as we said on the other show, we started with a Pinterest board. Mm -hmm. So Paul mm -hmm. got into Pinterest with me and we just sort of went over some possible backgrounds, some, some possible accent pieces, a theme, which we felt was really important. And we came across this blue brick and we said, hey, we like this. We think it'll go great with um, a contemporary corporate feel. So this is just a vinyl sticker. That's all this is. And I think it looks pretty dimensional for just being a sticker. So we started with this blue vinyl. We got some white floating shelves that we could display, not only accent pieces that we felt um, you know, paired well with the blue background, but also a product. And we've got this fun subscribe pillow up here. So uh, it saves us um, having to do a little graphic for the subscribe button on our YouTube videos. our Facebook pillow is going to come in in time. Our Facebook pillow should be in sometime next week. We're oh also going to have a like pillow with a heart up there oh for good. when we do our Facebook live shows. And we just wanted to have like a physical set. We love using the green screen. It's so fun. It's so versatile. But we also just want to expand our presence and just do something different and fun. Yeah, we've had just so many people asking about the virtual sets and then, you know, more and more we're thinking about how this all works and it turns out the easiest way to kind of get started and looking professional is to actually just it build a set. Um, in fact, <laughs> Tess, can we show like, can I zoom out and Go just ahead. show what, yeah. so I don't think we've shown everybody this yet, but um, it does not take much space. Look at this. So this is actually what's going on here. So this is actually the full story. So Nicholas is over there, okay, on that television. <laughs> a full behind the scenes. Um, in front of me, that's vMix right there. So that's like where I'm making all my changes and running the entire show. And then Tess is over here. I'm actually really happy with the way this, this actually set yeah, up. Yeah, This love monitor it. here in front of me is showing Tess. That's her confidence monitor so she can see when she's live. And then I'm here... Um, sitting in front of a green screen. So that's kind of how it all, it all works. And, you know, there's a bag of chips in front of me. I'm like eating, I'm like a slob. I'm like eating chips and drinking <laughs> juice. And um, you would never know. <laughs> you would never know how much of a slob we are. Like if you looked behind our desk right now. <laughs> so once I zoom in right there, you can liter it literally looks like you might be in like a Brooklyn apartment with blue, blue blick or something. Right, definitely. I'm trying to say that fast. Brooklyn, yeah. I don't even Brooklyn know. Brooklyn Brick. <laughs> Brooklyn Bridge with blue brick. A lot of um, the people we admire that stream use this brick background. Yes. We're like, how can we implement this to go mm. with our message and our followers? And I think we made a great choice so far. We're going to have new shirts too to match our fun set. We're going to have new shirts soon. Um, so... Also, I should mention that we're gonna, Tess is creating a complete blog. You're working on a blog post, we're working on a blog post too. Tess is gonna create a blog post on how we did all of this and how much it all costs, like every little thing that we bought. We're doing a full uh, tutorial, and, aren't we? And we're doing a full course, a full course 
on it. And it's all going to be released on YouTube. And there's going to be a guide on how to do it. But I think it's something that people will love to just flip through a 10-page guide. I think this is like part of the guide here. A little 10-page guide where it just gives you thoughts on how to build this nice basic set so you can improve your live streams. And the other thing is just making cool videos. You know, That's the whole point of the like, great part of like getting a live streaming set is you can create videos with it. Right. You can also video conference with it. Uh, there's so much you can do. The world loves video. Um, and, you know, we're just trying to do the most we can with it. And so do monkeys. Monkeys love video, too. <laughs> um, Rick Parsley is asking where he can sign up to become a reseller. Uh, well, you can actually just contact me directly at nicholas at streammonkey.com. So, or you can go to our website and just email the uh, info at streammonkey.com, and I'll see it. Wonderful. Well, that is pretty much it, everybody. I think we covered everything. If you're watching this and it's not live and you're watching it this weekend or sometime after, don't worry. We have a live follow-up show on Facebook. What we found was you kind of, we talked about a lot of techie stuff. Nicholas said some things I didn't even understand, to be completely honest. There were some features in there that we didn't even fully get to talk about. So I think about it over the weekend. I let it brew. I watch the show again. And then I create all these notes and I say, hey, let's talk about that again. So we have this whole follow-up show. So if you missed the show, and you still have questions, check us out on Facebook, same time on Monday. And thanks so much for joining, Nick. Awesome. Thanks a lot for having me. Take care. And that's all, folks. We appreciate your participation in the chat room and can't wait to host our next informative Q&A session. Your questions drive the conversation forward for live streaming professionals around the world. Until next time, happy streaming.